Members of the community, elected officials, and experts gather today for a gun violence reduction summit. KUSI's Lindsay Vicano is live in the studio this evening with more on the event. Lindsay, what was all discussed? Well, there are four panels in total discussing the actions taken in San Diego to address gun violence and what else needs to happen to save more lives and keep neighborhoods safe. Now, this event was put on by outspoken gun violence reduction advocate Tara Lawson Reamer, featuring a keynote address from California Attorney General Rob Bonta, who has had a very personal run-in with gun violence. As a legislator, when I was in Sacramento, um, and my wife was working in the Bay Area, we got a text from our oldest that you never want to get as a parent. Here's what it said. It said, Dad, Mom, I'm in lockdown because of an active shooter in my high school. Fortunately, Bonta's firstborn child was okay and is lucky to be alive because according to the Attorney General, there have been more mass shootings than days in 2023 and gun violence is now the leading cause of death for American children. Uh, Sandy Hook Elementary School, uh, a, a, a place and a school that we will never forget, nor should we. And the, the fact, I mean, these were kids, I didn't know them. They didn't know me. Um, they were across the country in another state, but that one hurt that it was children. The Gun Violence Reduction Summit taking place before a live audience Friday afternoon at the Board of Supervisors Chamber's third floor county admin center. The four panel event put on by County Supervisor Tara Lawson Reamer covering four gun violence conversations impacting San Diego, including suicide prevention. More than twice as many suicides by firearm occur in the states with the weakest gun laws. Community-driven peace work. Community assistance support team or CAST, which provides real-time support for people who experience violence to prevent uh, retaliatory violence. Protecting children in San Diego. Anybody who brings a gun to a school, that gun is de facto not stored safely because there's no reason that a child should be able to bring a gun to school. And finally, holding the firearms industry accountable. There are 48,000 gun deaths on average every year in the U.S. According to San Diego County .gov, from 2017 through 2021, the overall homicide rate in San Diego County increased by 45 percent. The leading cause of these deaths were firearm related, accounting for 53 to 60 percent of all homicide deaths during this five year time frame. We've really been fighting here in San Diego County to take on ghost gun manufacturers, to take on big, um, big gun manufacturers who've been profiteering off the lives of our children, to advance safe storage laws, to keep kids safe. At the conclusion of the summit, Reamer calling for widespread support of Governor Gavin Newsom's right to safety amendment, ensuring elected representatives determine and mandate gun safety laws, including raising the minimum age to buy a gun from 18 to 21, mandating universal background checks, instituting a waiting period for all gun purchases, and banning the sale of assault weapons and other weapons of war to civilians. Now, Reamer also says she wants San Diego to be a safer city to raise children, with the main goals of the event being to better inform the community about what's all being done to keep families safe and to utilize the summit as a, quote, launch pad for like-minded individuals to come together and figure out how they can work together to protect more people in San Diego from gun violence, end quote. So that was a summary of the uh, summit, Teresa. And, of course, we are continuing to track the very latest movements in that gun violence arena. We'll stay